Hello everyone, Marek here, Marek Mulacic here, and this is the uh, Adobe Premiere Pro 2025 video tutorial. Now, as you may have heard, as you may have seen, uh, Adobe announced the new versions of the Creative Cloud applications 2025, and one of the biggest features, probably the biggest feature in Premiere Pro, is the Generative Expand which allows you to make videos longer, basically, which is an amazing feature using AI. So here's the thing. So exciting new feature. I went and downloaded uh, Premiere Pro 2025 straight away. So this is the 2025 version. OK. Where are we? OK, so I made a new project. So this is going to be 2025 project, for example, download is fine. OK, create. Uh, let's import some videos. I've got some videos on the desktop here. I was thinking about these three guys here. Import them. OK, this might be the easiest one. So I'll make a new selection, a new sequence. OK. And following what Adobe showed, looking at the tools panel, there's no generative expand tool. Hmm. Now this is Premiere Pro 2025, but nothing here. In the new version, as Adobe was showing, there's a new tool here at the bottom, which is missing, or is it? Well, apparently this new feature and another one, which I'm going to make another video about, is actually only available in beta not in full version of Adobe Premiere Pro 2025. No, 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 no. OK, so let's close that. And so I did download the beta <laughs> as well. OK, so now in, in, in beta. OK, so make a new project. OK, let's do it a test. Now, I don't want it to be here. I want it to be, say, maybe in downloads, for example. Or create. OK, yes, fine. Let's import these videos again. Now, by the way, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm curious what's going to happen as well. OK, now we don't want learn panel. OK, let's just go to editing workspace. You know this stuff already. Now, this doesn't look quite right, does it? <laughs> I mean, I know it's a beta, but still. OK, so now we got this guy here at the bottom. OK. Now, I don't want this all. Actually, why not? So let's say I put a masking clip here. I was actually thinking about the car first. So maybe the bus can go, say, here. So here's the thing. Let's just not go over the top too much. <laughs> so we got this car video here, OK, which for some reason doesn't show when I play it. But the masking and this, but the car doesn't. Um, OK, now, I think it's OK, they're on the same track, so no idea why it doesn't show. It does show in a preview. OK, so I guess we'll just uh, move on to maybe, or oh, let me just try again. So if I delete it, uh, that's the car video, which we can see here. So if I drop it in. There you go, now it's working. Uh, let's make it uh, fit. OK, so let's say we have these videos. We've got a space in here. And something that we couldn't do in the past is expand the video to make it longer. Maybe we need uh, a few more seconds in here. Now, we can do it now. So what we can do now is we can select this guy here, Generative Extend Tool. Uh, yes, we need to agree. That's fine. Well, that's not a choice. We have to agree. <laughs> uh, OK. And now we can just grab the end of the clip. Uh, OK, so it doesn't work on this one. I'm guessing it might be because I resized it, maybe. So let's undo. Uh, let's try again. No, it doesn't support this clip. OK. OK, let's try on a different one. So let's try on this one. So we'll get in here is video like this okay let's say we'll try it on well there's like two videos in here so if i make a cut 
so say here or make a cut I'm just going to move these here oh come on okay so let's try this one first so generative expand and we'll grab it here and we we add in okay so I've got a limit here uh, it looks like it's going to add up to two seconds well better than nothing so let's see what's going to happen here we're going to add two more seconds well better two seconds than nothing <laughs> Generating, generating. We can try this one in the meantime. So let's say on this video, the second bit, oh, back to generative expand. In the meantime, we can expand that. Looks like this two seconds may be a limit. Okay. So let's try the third one and let's see what we can get here. The same so it seems like two seconds is the limit because these videos are all different durations they're not all the same duration these are different okay okay maximum capacity okay <laughs> oh wow here we go this one's still generating but it's almost done 80 percent so see what we can get here We've seen, you may have seen some examples from Adobe and is, it worked really, really well. So let's see this one. Oh, well, interesting, actually, interesting. I mean, the, the card disappears, obviously, but if you look at the rest of the video, I mean, this video keeps uh, driving, but what amazes me is this car which appears here. <laughs> that is actually amazing. I mean, the car at the beginning, I'm just thinking whether, well, it looks like it's ever so slightly distorted, but doesn't look too bad. Okay, now let's see on this second part here. Because in here the car actually stays in the video, so let's see. Oh, it keeps going! <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Because normally the car stops here, but in the video it continues to move forward. Ah, wow! Now this is impressive. Now let's try on this one. So let's see. Oh, can we only do it on two videos at a time? Can be applied once. Okay, so undo. Uh, let's try again. Two seconds. Okay. Now this one worked amazingly well. Really, really well. So the generative expand can only be applied once per clip. It looks like uh, we can only make it two seconds longer, apparently. Uh, looks like this might be the limit, possibly. Okay. Now let's try one more thing in the meantime. Now I'm going to import one more video, which is actually in a vertical format. Okay. So let's see this one. And I'm going to make a new sequence from this video clip. And see. So this one looks like this. There's someone jumping on the bed. It's just a stock video. Okay. So this video is longer than the others. So let's see if we can expand by more than two seconds or not. So I grab the expand tool. Let's see. Doesn't support the frame rate. Let's see how the other one went with the bus. I'm not sure why this is so dark. <laughs> but <laughs> it's actually really good because the bus keeps going here. There. Which is which is astonishing, really. This is amazing. 
Okay. It just extends. So this is the first look at generative extend, and it works really, really well. Um, if you need to make the video longer, just a tiny bit longer, uh, this seems to do real magic, really. Okay, so this is the first look at generative extent, and we'll see what it leads us. Uh, thank you for watching, and enjoy!